In part one, I talked about perfectionism and how it negatively affected my life and my mind. We're not perfect. It's not our fault. We are flesh and flesh is sin. However, when we repent from our sins, God forgives us and we can go on about our day. We don't need to carry guilt or shame for years on end. That's actually blasphemy to God because it means that we don't accept His forgiveness. It means that we don't believe Him. That was a concept that was never taught to me by anyone in church or anywhere else for that matter. That's the concept that God forgives us for His own sake. We need to believe that He has forgiven us and accept His grace. That was a fairly recent revelation to me. I never thought about that, nor did I ever think about it in that way. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25 in the Amplified Bible, it is written, I, only I am, he who wipes out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. That's also why he wants us to forgive other people for our own sake. It's not necessarily for them. They might not even care whether you forgive them or not. But it is for our own sake, just like it is for God's sake. So this verse, which is the truth of God, has totally transformed how I look at forgiveness in general. I'm not perfect by any means, and I mess up regularly. But I am improving both in terms of welcoming and fully accepting the forgiveness that God has given me and by not carrying endless guilt and shame, which is a futile exercise, but also in terms of forgiving others and being able to let go of issues faster and move on instead of constantly replaying things for weeks on end in my mind. Now the time frame is a lot shorter and things move along a lot faster. God does not want us to carry a burden with us because that messes up our lives. It sure did mine as it brought me a lot of sadness over the years. This is freedom, my friends. It's a huge weight off of our shoulders. This is the peace of God. When we're born again, our mind needs to be renewed spiritually. I grew up with a mind filled with the lies of the world instead of the truth of God. And there's a big difference between the two. But our mind needs to be continually updated and renewed as we have decades of wrong, worldly programming to undo. It just doesn't happen overnight. And because we live in this world, we can inadvertently revert back to our old sinful habits. The way we can avoid slipping back into the ways of the world is by making it a daily habit to spend time with the Word of God. Knowing our minds daily is essential to Christian life. This is so important, and I really did not see it that way for so long. We really can't just do church once a week. It's not enough, let's be honest. Do we actually fully focus on the message being shared even when we go to church? Or is our mind distracted by our own thoughts or even sometimes catching a catnap on the pew? The Word has to wake up our mind and reprogram it correctly. This is a daily training exercise. We need to reflect on the messages that God is giving us in the Bible. And in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22, in the Amplified Bible, He reminds us to be doers of the Word and not just listeners, it is written, but prove yourselves doers of the word, actively and continually obeying God's precepts, and not merely listeners who hear the word but fail to internalize its meaning, deluding yourself by unsound reasoning contrary to the truth. Our own reasoning is what gets us in trouble. We must be careful about that and always take everything back to what the Bible says. The Bible is the truth. I believe that the world is increasingly heading towards suppressing the Word of God. So I really want to strongly encourage you 
to make sure that you have at least one hard copy of the Bible in your home. Don't rely on electronic devices because things can be changed online. We cannot change the Word of God and if you have a hard copy, then you're guaranteed that it's not going to change or be changed. So make sure you have at least one copy of your favorite uh, version of the Bible in your home and increase the amount of time that you spend studying it and reflecting on God's Word. I pray that you find these videos helpful. I will see you next week, God willing. Thank you for watching. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel as well as taking the time to seek a closer relationship with Yahweh God. I would like to invite you to consider purchasing a copy of our 52-week Bible study journal called Reflecting on God's Word. I believe that this book is an excellent tool to help you deepen your relationship with our Father, and in focusing on Him, it will transform your life as it has for us. You can scan our QR code to reach our website's Bible Study Journal collection, where you'll find it available in English, French, and Spanish. Thank you so much for your support to our ministry and for being part of spreading the Word of God around the world.